And Josh Hartnett is the latest Hollywood film star to swap the big screen for the West End stage. He's known for his performances in films such as Pearl Harbor, Black Hawk Down, amongst many others. And he's now playing Charlie Babbitt in the British theatre production of the 80s hit movie Rain Man. And he's here with us this morning. Good morning, Josh. Morning. Uh, we, we, we were just talking that Sunday usually is a, is a dark, they sort of dark night or dark days they call them because you don't have to perform. But you were, yeah. you were busy yesterday? Uh, well, we had a, uh, a friend of mine does this uh, experimental Hamlet, and they played the Globe Saturday night at midnight, and so I, uh, I played a tiny part in that, and I uh, didn't get home until about five in the morning. And, and it's all worked. So, had so you had, haven't necessarily had your day off. <laughs> but time, it, 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 we mentioned Pearl Harbor and Black Hawk Down, which are two yeah. two huge films that that you've been involved in, and and there's often you know a lot of um, uh, Hollywood movie stars have come over recently. Yeah. Uh, I imagine the challenge for, for you as a movie actor to, to, to going onto stage is quite, a, the difference is quite dramatic. Well, with a, a play like this, um, like we were talking about just a, just a second ago, my character has essentially a monologue throughout the entire play and, uh, and the, my brother's character as well. We, we never connect and so we just kind of ultimately um, speak about our own things. And it's, it's quite a, you know, it's a large piece of work to remember, and we only had three weeks rehearsal, so... It's very intense. It is, yeah. it is essentially, it's a remake of the film that everyone will know with Tom yeah. Cruise and Dustin Hoffman. You play Charlie Babbitt, which is Tom Cruise's character. Mm. Did you know the film well? Are you, had you studied it, or did you want to didn't, sort of separate yourself? Yeah, I didn't really want to study it, but um, I, I'd seen it when, I, when it came out. It came out 20 years ago. It's so. incredible, that, isn't and it? And that's yeah. the last time you saw it, so you didn't go back and revisit it before... I've seen it since, but I, no, I didn't no. watch it for this. No, I, no, ever no. since I signed on to this project, I haven't, I haven't seen it. Yeah. And, and for you and, and for Adam Godley, who plays Raymond, who's yeah. Dustin Hoffman's character, like you say, it is literally, I, I, saw the, I was fortunate enough to see the play on, on Friday, mm -hmm. and I was just bowled over with how many words you both have throughout. Mm -hmm. And actually, yeah. you're not talking to each other because, of course, he's autistic, his yes. character is. Yes, he's, he's, uh, he's on the autistic spectrum, so we have very little connection throughout most of the, most of the piece, and so we're both kind of, um, we're on our own monologues. You must be shattered by the end of it. By the end of it, yeah, you know, two shows a day sometimes, so it can't be that shattered. Happy. And it's, be, it's very, it's, it's very funny. I seem to remember the film um, being being a lot more poignant uh, in in many ways. But mm. this, the, it's very laugh out loud the play. Well, it, it has to kind of, uh, it has to move from one end to the other. It has to be funny at the beginning, hopefully, and then move into poignancy toward the end, mm. um, if we do our job right. But we're still in previews, so, mm. you know. <laughs> How you cope with the audiences the and, and the, the audiences sort of are fantastic. We've had uh, the full gamut. We've had people that have laughed throughout the entire mm -hmm. thing and people that have taken it in very seriously. And um, but we've had pretty much full houses, so that's that's the I best. Always, I always wonder after if you've had a standing ovation or if the audience is a bit muted. Do you all go backstage and, and, and sort of analyze the audience reaction? Yeah, we do actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because everybody has to tell me what it's about. Yeah. Oh, that's a Friday audience, you know. Yeah. Don't, oh, really? wor don't worry about it. Or a Tuesday yeah. audience, you know. So you're but watching us as much as we're watching you. A bit, that. yeah. Well, we're paying attention. Yeah. yeah. Um, one of the things you have to sort of deal with when you come over is the sort of the, the, the increased intrusion from our newspapers and, yeah. and stuff because we love having you guys come over and we're fascinated mm. by it, we read about it and day and day And then we strip mm. you right down. How yeah, do you yeah. Because that? Because the, the tabloids can be quite sort of hostile at times. It's actually kind of, it's, it's kind of incredible, the stories that they come up with, that there has to be no factual basis whatsoever. I mean, in the States, at least, they have to, uh, they have to call a representative and try and make some sort, of, um, some sort of reality out of the situation. Here, they just kind of, they make everything up. Because there's yeah. a story recently uh, yeah, yeah. that was in the paper. You were you were in a hotel somewhere yeah. with somebody on CCTV. <laughs> yeah. I was like, how could there be a rumor about a video? If yeah. there's yeah, a video, it would be on the internet, you know? Okay, so let's see the video. How do you cope with that? So how do you yeah. balance that out? Or how do you put that into perspective relative to doing a job that you love? Well, that's the thing. It's, it's the one downside, you know? I mean, I really do. I'm enjoying the experience of being in the theater, and that's the reason why I'm here. Um, so... If I can have that experience and limit the other side of it, then then I win. Mm. And, and you enjoy know. being in London. I love London. Yeah, I've worked here before, and I have a lot of friends here. So, um, yeah, I'm having a good time. Well, look, unfortunately we're out of time, but thank okay. you very much for coming in. Thank you. Um, break a leg with the run. Thanks a lot. Uh, yeah. and when it opens officially on the 19th. 19th, yeah. 19th yeah. at the Apollo Theatre in All London. Right. I enjoyed it immensely. Thanks a lot. Nice shirt. I've been eyeing that shirt up because plaid is really in this. Oh, is it? Plaid, that looks like a check to me. No, they call it plaid because it's sort of tart and you see. Tip of the iceberg. Tip this. of the iceberg. <laughs> this is eight. The tip of the iceberg tomorrow. Cliff Richard is on. See you then. The rain.